Good evening, everyone. Good evening, how are you? <clears throat> okay, we have four people already present. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, Norbert, how are you? I am fine, and you? Me too. Okay. Fine, ready for action. So, let's begin. Good evening, my friends. Tonight, we're going to be working on Unit 3, Review and Practice. Tonight is class 20, and this is October the 29th. After tonight, we have class on Monday, no class on Tuesday. We have class on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we finish, okay? Good evening, Pedrina. Oh. Hello, teacher. Hello, Pedrina. Welcome to the class. Okay. So this is the general objective, the specific object. Okay. The general. The specific objectives. And then the class objective. The, tonight we're going to be discussing advantages of employees surveillance programs in a restaurant. We're going to be discussing security, security breaches, problems, etc. Identify key information about the advantages of employee surveillance program in a reading passage. Okay. So we're going to begin by discussing this question. But before we discuss the question, let's see who is here and who isn't here. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Today is okay, October the 29th, the last day of the, of the year, of the month for us. Because Monday, it's going to be November the 1st. So, Delmi Carranza de Guzman. <clears throat> Nadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Brian Odir Perez. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Welcome to yeah. Nice. Thank you. Dolores Saraí Molina. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. José Ignacio Franco. Elizabeth Villeda. Alexander Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Okay. 
Eduardo Rivas. Russian. Moisés Eduardo Rivas. Russian. Excelente. Nelson Iván Hernández. Edina Diana Gómez. Este teacher. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Nice. Good evening. Good evening, Mike. Claudia Elena Enríquez. Yes, welcome to class. Martin Alexander Lopez. Rudy Josué Flores. Good evening. Welcome. And Victor Hugo Quintani. Teacher, no listen my, my name. Hey, you were worried. <laughs> Marber. Present. Yes, no, you are present. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class. Let's begin. Okay, we're going to begin by discussing these questions. Discuss the following questions. How do you define Surveillance, 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 surveillance. Is it necessary at the workplace? Is it necessary to have surveillance, surveillance workplace? How do employees feel about it? How do employees feel about surveillance? What advantages and disadvantages does surveillance bring? <clears throat> if you had a restaurant, would you install a surveillance system? Why? Why not? Okay. <clears throat> surveillance. Let me see. Ta -da. Picasso. Okay. Okay. You are, <laughs> you are being watched. Yes? Yeah. Teacher, that is a cake. No, it's not a cake that is no. to the ground. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> El escape de un carro. <laughs> yeah. Marimba, eh? Ah, marimba, right? <laughs> So this is a camera. Remember, oh. remember, it's Picasso's Picasso's Picasso. Pic yeah. And Picasso had a big imagination. So, <laughs> okay. So let's go to the groups and let's discuss this question. We are twelve people. So I'm going to make four groups. Oh, but before that, I want to see it's page six, the one that we are working on. Page six. Okay, the groups are created. 
the groups are opening. Please let me know if the person that is with you is working with you too. Karina, is Don Moises working with you? Uh, no sé si está ahí. Okay, I'm going to move you to another group. Okay. Yes. But do you know what turbulence is? What? Do you know what turbulence is? No, no, no. Like a like a group of person that is ready to attend um, an emergency. Yes. Okay, uh, in my case, I think it's like a system of biosecurity where a person is um, in charge to supervise all time. Yes. Like uh, it's recording all what's happening on the restaurant, everything. Maybe in my case, is oh, what I think is surveillance. Oh. Uh, what about you, Rene? How do you define surveillance? Rene, are you there? No, sir, Rene. It is necessary at the workplace. Okay. Continue the second. What do, you mean? what do you think, Danis? Is necessary to is necessary at the worst place to install a surveillance? Yes, yes, for, uh, but the watching is action, action or action ensure for. Manipur our machine is mm -hmm. watching and the, the accident is mm -hmm. important. Don Ignacio, good evening. Welcome to the class. 
We are working on uh, page six. We are discussing the questions. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes. In that moment, I take uh, my group. Uh, you are with Pedrina right now. Pedrina is with you here. Okay. Yes. Sorry for the time. I for I too late. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, my friend. it's okay. The important thing is you're here. Sorry? The important thing is that you are here, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Great. Okay. Okay, it is necessary at the workplace? What do you think? Yes, it's necessary. Yes, in in my work, there are some stores, and into the store they 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 have a a, a cameras and. And some people monitor it all the time. Monitor to monitor to to alarm. Yeah. 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 They have alarm, and I think it's so necessary because some sometimes or rarely. Uh, happens um, incidents and they check the exactly hours and define what happened and make cut solutions. I think uh, the surveillance is so necessary in the workplace. Yes. And how do you employees feel about it? When you have a camera near to, <laughs> what do you, how do you feel? Eh, esa, esa pregunta es como que no, no le, no, no le entiendo mucho. How do you employees feel about eh, yo lo entiendo como es eh, cómo se sienten los empleados sobre la vigilancia. Ah, ok. Sí. How do your employees feel about it? Uh -huh. um, in my case, I feel uh, comfortable because uh, I feel more security in the place yes in my yeah. case too i security because um, it's a area uh, much more for some yes, it's very evidence. necessary. Very, very oh. necessary. Yeah. Okay. What advantage and disadvantage does is that does it bring? Bring advantage and the and disadvantage. Um. Okay. Uh, advantage. I think we feel uh, better uh, support uh, 
um, and we feel more security. Yes. And in Savantage, uh, we can eat. <laughs> we feel safer, right? We're safer. And in Savantage, we can eat in my yeah. desktop. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But I eat <laughs> a little. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And you, Anadelmi? Um, in my case, uh, adv advantage is important because the security, the place. Little, uh -huh. little parenthesis. Add advantages. Add advantages. Disadvantages. 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 Advantages. Advantages. Disadvantages. Advantages. Disadvantages. 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 And okay. for me, disadvantages is same the Karin. <laughs> the num the yes, number two. Three, do you employ a fit about it? Ah, uh, the number three. How do you employ field, uh, about, field it? about it? Field about it. Number four. What? What advantage and this vaccine does it brings? Advantages. Como pronuncia esa, Ignacio? Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages. Positive things, uh, negative things. Okay, okay. You listen, you, you listen, Pedrina. Yeah, what advantages and disadvantages does it bring? Repeat, okay. please. The number, the number, the, the question number four. What advances and disadvantages does it bring? Yeah, it's good. Does it Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. You finished, right, my friend? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. In a yeah. moment, we're going to go back to the main group. Okay. okay teacher, thank you. General group. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the question number Entonces, five. Esa, ¿cómo, sería, ¿Cómo sería, Ignacio? The number five. Sí. Okay, I I read it. If you had a restaurant, how mm -hmm, yeah. how do you install a surveillance system? Why? Es una pregunta. Okay. Would sí, sí. Would la contestaríamos? Bush, Bush, Bush. Would, would, you, would you install? Means instalaría. Would you install a surveillance system? Would you install a surveillance system? Wish. Mm -hmm. Why? No. Why? No es why? wish. Why? Why? Es why, why, es cierto. Una pregunta. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Why? Así. Ah, why? If you the 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 complete the question is if you had a restaurant would you install a surveillance system why 
that that a five question for you and me and we need to discuss this that question okay start 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 you the number one how do you define the survey lines Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear ones, let's continue. Finish discussing the questions, let's move. We're going to discuss these questions too. Again, it says, how can a crisis at work be avoided? How would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? Okay, so it's crisis, no, crisis management plan, or is a plan for managing a crisis. You have a crisis, so you need a plan to manage that crisis. Okay, so how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan, a bad plan. How would you define a bad crisis management plan? Could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss? Okay, mitigating means reducing, making smaller the financial loss. How can you improve communication with your employees? What are other factors to consider regarding ways to avoid a management crisis? So this would be the, the questions. Okay, let's put here. Uh, a management crisis. Okay, so this is, these are the questions that we're going to be doing right now. Okay, but I prefer to ask the questions, discuss the questions in the groups. So we're going to go to the group. This is page eight. Teacher, I have a question about vocabulary. In the third one, la, and the one in the fifth regarding. Aha, uh -huh. tell me please. What's your question? Yes, Don Ignacio, what's your question? Would you please? It's me, teacher. Oh, it's Rudy. Yes. <laughs> the third one is it's black. And the fifth regarding. Um to be honest, I didn't hear exactly what you said. Would you please repeat? Because there is a background noise. Okay, would you please? Uh, and the third one, the vocabulary lack. You don't have, you lack. For example, you say, you say, I don't have uh, patience. I don't have patience. What's then use lack. I lack patience. Okay, I got it, got it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. 
Mm -hmm. If you don't have, you lack. Uh, teacher. Tell me, please. Yes, Tommy. In, in, in our company, every week have a crisis. A crisis. You have a crisis? Yeah, yeah crisis. Sorry, crisis. Uh -huh. Because we, we depend or on our client. External security. No. And on external security? In our, in our, in our ser service. Okay, service. Uh, okay. Service, service, okay. For example, today, Friday, uh, now I had a crisis in, in my work, in my work plan because the client did not allow me to work at night and uh, forced me to work tomorrow, Saturday. It's a crisis for our company because the client, every, every have a reason, you know. Yeah. It's, so a, it's, a, it's, it's my example and it's a real example. Yeah. They created a crisis for you for, because they didn't want you to work at night. So you have to work tomorrow and the company has to pay you overtime. Yeah, in our, in our plan, we, we make that night and we work that night and they say, no, you can work at night. Tomorrow at the, at a day. Tomorrow because the area because the area the the area is a is a difficult it is a area difficult in the, mm -hmm. the for is insecurity. Okay. That, that that place that place. Yes, I is my example. Okay, thank you, my friend. Okay, we're yeah. going to go to the groups and new groups to see what happens. Okay. The, the groups are opening. Okay, so. Okay, Don Ricardo, you may enter five, group five.
Okay. Tell us, what do you think about it? Eh, la pregunta se refiere a ¿Cómo puedo? The first question, another. Yes. Okay. Is okay when you have a prevention to a crisis. Ah. Uh, for example, what example? For example, uh, to avoid avoid is como evitar. Uh -huh. okay. uh, to avoid a uh, fire fire. Let's say. Ah, okay. On an accident. Ah, uh, okay. Avoid you look the area. You you can to. Have a. Ay, se me olvidó la palabra que estábamos viendo en otro. La vigilancia. Ok. Sur, surveillance. Surveillance. A eso. Ok. Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. Um, I can avoid uh, an, an accident. I go a uh, security in every. Every um, all time. Ya me la gasté, no tengo. In all I, areas. Uh -huh, I think. Okay. And you, Danis? I think I didn't uh work by which the different brigades. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah. In uh. At Number number yeah, number three. How do employees feel about it? Feel about it. Yeah. Number what do you four. think the number three? Um I think the uh, crisis uh, for for air uh, squash uh, probably the uh, crisis uh, uh, woman. Uh, nervous woman's nervous for uh, the, uh, the earthquake. Creo que se dice terremoto, no sé. Yes. Ya, ya, a woman uh, uh, for this is uh, nervous, 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 creo que se dice nervio, perdón. Nervous, nerviosa, nervous. Nervous, nervous, right, teacher? For, yes. for this is a uh, war in the earthquake, a uh, woman, uh, men, uh, children, uh, for nervous. My crisis, crisis, crisis.
Why? Uh, next, Danis. Oh. <laughs> no, in my case, in, in, in environment, no, all person is, is training in different area or for eventually. It's necessary for in all my the case too. Yeah. In my in my in my work, I uh, training all all employees mm -hmm. for the everything event. Yes. Yeah. Necessary. The, all yeah. the people yeah. knows yeah. because yeah. if only a uh, unique person. If the person is no, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> <It's necessary. laughs> okay. Okay. Read okay. the next. <laughs> okay. Next. How can you improve communication with your employees? Improve is like to make better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Improve communication. Uh, question three or four? Four. 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 Ah, okay. Mm, I think the best way to communication with the people is to be uh, receptive, no sé. <laughs> uh, and don't uh, be hard with the people. Uh, 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 you can to listen all the people. Try to do the best of the of the best. For example, when you have a work team and the team brings some yes. You can put all ideas and can be better. Okay. I have an idea. Maybe mm -hmm. it can be separate and design leadership to groups, little groups. And the manager is not have to talk about, uh, on, you know, have to talk to all the group, the big group. They select one of the each ten, for example, and they have to communicate information to just five, and that five is in charge to another five people in the company, and the information is like uh, descended from the manager to in charge the, the leadership of the little group into okay. the, the company. Maybe it's my idea. The communication is. Um, like mm, efficient because um, I I don't know how to say fluid in that case, but the information influence oh fluid flows uh -huh, fluid no. oh okay flows okay partly partly mm -hmm. thank you teacher so it's my idea you're welcome okay okay. It's a great idea. Hola, Ignacio. Hola. Hi, Pedrina. Hola. Hi, hi, we here. Hello. Si, si me escucha. I hear you. Me escucha. Pamela, pero está mal los sí. Yes, I heard you. Please, please talk about that five question at the page number six. Number eight. Hey, hey, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Padrina, the, the page number eight. Pedrina, ah, se fue, Padrina. Padrina left. Odir left. Yeah. So you are alone. Brian, Brian. He, Brian. He left too. Bah. Okay, but anyhow, in a moment, we're going to go back to the main group. Okay. <laughs> Only one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, sorry, teacher, that class is the, the last class. So it's okay. Uh, next, next Friday. Next Friday, ah, okay. Next Friday uh, is the last class. Uh -huh. November the 5th. And the next class is on the 8th. So you have, <clears throat> let me see. Yeah. <clears throat> Seven, eight. There is no break. Only change teacher and then you continue together. Okay. And the next um, November 2 is free for hours. Exactly, it's free. It's a day off. November this day. is a day off. Uh -huh. We don't have classes on November this. So there are four classes more. Four classes. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to the main group. Okay, now we have 12. Uh, there are more people coming in. 14, 16, no, 14 still. Okay. Let's see. What to do if an em employee is stealing stuff? In the case of security, number one, ensure the employee no longer has physical electronic access or financial access. What's the meaning? Make sure, make sure that the employee, uh, all of the permissions are blocked, whether they are physical, they are electronic or financial. He has no access to any of the files. Number two, Investigate the theft and the employee to determine the extent of the damage. Okay, different ways. Find out uh, about the missing money, right? And the employee and determine how big the problem was. Number three, follow your company's disciplinary process or disciplinary process. Okay, follow your company's disciplinary process. Okay, whatever the institutes establish or the policies of the institution establish as a penalty. Number four, report the employee's theft to the police and your insurance company. Number five, avoid creating potential liability issue, the financial paycheck on time and follow the need to know rule. Okay, teacher, I don't understand that one. Okay, over here it says, uh, there is a problem here with the liability. Liability issue, what's the meaning? Confidence. You cannot trust uh, the person. And then you're talking about the final paycheck. What's the meaning? 
you are firing the employee, you have to compensate him for his time. Okay. And then follow the rule that you need to know that if you do this, 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 these are the consequences. Okay. And follow applicable federal and state data breach laws. So this would be about if someone steals money, we're talking about security. Okay. If someone is stealing stuff, what, how delicate do you think it is to steal from a company? What can be the consequences if the employee is discovered stealing? Opinions? Teacher. Yes, Don Ignacio. In my case, in our company is really, if someone employees is stealing stuff, the stealing is the capital sin. It's a capital C. Mm -hmm. Because so, someone employees is discovered in the stealing, go out, go out the company. Don't have a permission to include the, the this defined. To uh, cannot present defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is the sin capital? I don't know or capital sin. Sorry, capital sin. Capital yeah. sin in in our company. For all the companies, if yeah, a, for all the company, if a company trusts you with information, that information belongs to the company, and then you treat it with respect, and you keep a privacy secrecy about that information. You don't share it with other companies, worse with the competition, right? And if yeah. steals that information, it's a capital sin, yes? Of course, the person is fired, right? And of course, some people say that the people are compensated, mm, but sometimes the people only leave and they don't get paid anything, right? Yeah. So it's a, a big problem, okay? So uh, this is a good teaching for, for people to reflect. The job is important and it should be respected, right? Okay, let's see. I'm going to call roll and then we continue with the reading and the task preparation. It links to. Yeah. Sí. Alma Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Present teacher. Excellent. Brian Pérez, no. Carlos Alberto Bautista. No. Okay. Dan Anthony Siguenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Western. Dolores Saraí Molina. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Don Eduardo Ernesto. Okay. Eunice Abigail Chávez. Guadalupe del Carmen López. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo. Present teacher. Excellent. José Ignacio Franco. Ignacio is not here. <laughs> okay, but he was present. José Norberto Velázquez. I am here, teacher. Present. Excellent. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present, teacher. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Don Marvin, not today. My, Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Doña Miriam, no. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent, very good. Nelson Iván Hernández. Nelson Iván. Okay. Pedrina Ileana Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Yeah. Excellent, very good. And your brother, Don René? I don't know because my brother worked in, in the morning and I work in, in the afternoon. Ah, okay. Yes. I didn't see my brother uh, all day. Okay. Welcome on board, my friend. Welcome on board. Okay. Claudia Lorena Enriquez. Marvin Alexander Lopez. Rudy Josue Flores. Present teacher. Victor Hugo Quintanilla. Teacher, present. Nelson, right? Nelson, present. Okay, Nelson. Yes, well, teacher, Ricardo, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, Ricardo, you're here. Okay, Nelson. Yeah, I'm writing present. Okay, so we have only Marvin, Miriam, Claribel, Jacob. Don Eduardo that is not here and uh, Danny Anthony, and Carlos Alberto Bautista, and Brian Odir, right? So I am present. Sorry? Brian is here. Sí. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Alberto, yeah. Yes? Twice, twice present for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be present. Ant yeah, okay. Anthony, I saw Anthony. He is always trying to connect and he never connects. So, but he's trying, so he's present, okay? We see that he's making an effort to be present, but his telephone, well, maybe his internet doesn't let him connect. So, too bad. Okay. All right, then. Don Eduardo, I saw Don Eduardo too. I'm going to write present because I saw that he was present. Okay. So right now I don't know why he doesn't answer. Okay, let's move on. Okay, my dear ones. Let us continue. Reading. I'm going to read this information slowly, okay? And uh, you are going to take uh, your time reading it too, by sections in the groups, but uh, little by little. So, if you have any questions about any of the words, let me know, okay? And we, we see what we can do about that, okay? Let's begin. Read the following passage about surveillance technology. Most of the public, most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question, is it spooky or reassuring? Peter, what is spooky? 
Ooh, like when you see a ghost, you see, you know the word ghost? You understand the word ghost? Fantasma, ghost? Okay, spooky is tenebroso, right? Tenebroso, spooky, okay? That makes you feel afraid, spooky, okay? So is it spooky or reassuring? Reassuring is what our friend uh, Kari was saying. I feel safe. She said, one advantage is that I feel safe because of the surveillance. One disadvantage, I cannot eat. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. But anyhow, so reassuring. Reassuring means that it makes you feel safe. But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. The effect of surveillance on behavior. What's the meaning? Some, I mean, people act differently when they know that they are being watched. If they know that you are watching them, they act in a different way. So that's the meaning. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. Okay. Significant means important. A new research, a new investigation, a new investigation shows in detail how important okay, the surveillance effect can be. The researchers measure the impact of software that monitors employee level theft and sales transactions before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Employee theft and fraud is a big problem estimated at up to $200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages and they depend on tips. Teacher, what are tips? The money that clients give to express the satisfaction that they have for the service, okay? Tips, some little money that they give the waiters. Employee, re employee replacement is high. In that environment, a certain amount of theft, teacher, what is theft? Robo, right? A certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. They know that a certain percentage people will steal, okay? And they establish what percentage is acceptable, right? A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me, right? Means, okay, come on, you guys, don't pay these drinks, but speak well about me. Remember, I take care of you, right? With a large tip means give me more money. Other tactics are more elaborate. Teacher, what is elaborate? Complicated, more complex, right? Other tactics are more complex, but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of $2,982 a week. Wow. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back, means pulled back, okay? They were stealing and they stopped doing it, right? They were stealing and they stopped doing it. 
Okay, so the servers not only pull back on their on any unethical practices, but also channel their efforts into say prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. So they prompt is invite. So they invited, they invited customers to have the dessert that they were offering or a second beer, right? So that is what it says. Questions about the reading? No, teacher, don't have a question. It's only we need to, to think about. Okay. So we're going to practice the reading. We don't have much time, so I'm going to give you five minutes in the groups. For Take you. care. Tell me, Norbert. Um, a second, second beer no is a, a dream. Ah, yes. Like, for example, some people ask beer. buy a second beer. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a second drink. Like if an orange juice, probably not because orange juice is more satisfying. But beer, probably people drink one, two, three, four, I don't know. <laughs> uh, six. Yeah, or six, seven. Okay. So my yes. friends, let's let's go to the to the groups. Yes. To give you five minutes for you to read this. Practice this with a partner, okay? I'm going to leave the same groups. But, but a, different, a different is the effects of servicing of the high behavior in a new I don't call it, paper show in the day, how significant the survey effect and can be. The uh, res research measure the impact of software that monitor employer level diff and safe trans transcend. Transcend, transcendation before and after the technology was in, in installed at one uh, founder two restaurant in very uh, night state employee the f death of fraud is a big problem is estimated at, at out to uh, two million in years across the economy most of the restaurant industry is serves low waste and they depend on big employers. The plate is high, is that the behavior, behavior in central among of death, this the long being 
around a uh, normal part of the business. Okay, Rene. Uh, uh, somebody else that want to continue reading to practice? Not only one. So. Not really. Okay. You. Thank you, Daniel. Me? Or you? You. <laughs> you. Oh, okay. I I talking, but my 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 micro. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Karina. Go ahead. Uh, Danis, no. Tomar una nota de la de lo que vamos a leer. Yes. <clears throat> yes, Ana. Page eleven. Ah, okay. Page eleven. Okay. And um, sorry, Ignacio. Sorry, sorry, Anadelmi, but the uh, Pedrina usually have problems with the connection, and we we to speak. That uh, reading that the uh, page number number eleven. Okay, I read. <laughs> Most of the public discussion of surveillance. It's a normal part of the business. Listen. Okay. Okay. Next. There is no Next. Richard. 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 Richard, hello. No, here. No, hello. Here. Okay. <laughs> I continue. I, okay. I simple sample is a bartender, not ch changer for around the for a round of drink and using the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are most elaborate. But monitoring software is not available to tax transaction and detect suspicious partner after the installation, installation of the monitor software in some per restored in trade by a bell of a young <laughs> girl and boy. A weekend. No, in anything they were being monitor a the service not online push back on I need make it practice but also change the effort intro say prompting customer restaurant restaurant industry pay is server low gate and they depend of tip. Employee re replacement is hit in that environment. A certain amount of the house loan being regarded as normal part of business. Continue. Okay. Really. Continue. okay. Yeah. A, a simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drink and not then the customer to take care of me with a large trip. Other tactics are more elaborate, but monitoring software is not available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software, income per restaurant increased by an average of 2,982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on any unit practice, 
but also channeling, channeling their efforts into that is prompting customers to have that dessert or a second beer. That's it. Good. <laughs> I want to read the first part. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Most of the public discussion of surveys technology and is a use res result around the question. Is it a spoken? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. In your opinion, why do you think surveillance is considered spooky? Why do you think people uh, think surveillance is considered spooky? In your opinion? Yes, Don Ignacio? For me, if they fear. I I think only only the stealing the stealer men are the fear big about the surveillance. You know about the surveillance. Uh huh. Surveillance. Yeah. So they they are afraid. They consider it spooky because they may be discovered doing something. They may be caught doing something. Okay. Infraganti. Right? They may be infraganti in English is used, uh, they say, be caught red handed. No. Couch. Some para me. Red handed. Caught red hand. Caught to be caught in fraganti. What's mm. caught in fraganti? Con las manos. En la masa. <laughs> exactly. Be caught. Yeah. Yeah. For that reason, they think, oh my goodness, surveillance. I hate that camera. I hate that camera, right? Because they don't have liberty to do whatever they want, okay? How about second question? How many restaurants were part of the research? Do you remember? How many restaurants? 300? Three, 392. 392? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Wow, very good. 392 in 39 states. So talking about in the United States. Very good. What's the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? The estimated, the calculated, calculated or estimated cost. 200 billion. 
200 billion, right? Yeah. What product tactic used by bartenders? Uh, I just rec I just remember the two okay. second a second beer round. <laughs> this round of drinks is mm. this round drink of drink is on the house. Remember, take care of me. Take care of me means give me a higher tip. Give me more money, right? because I'm taking care of you. I'm giving you free, a free round of drinks. Free round of drinks means all of the people together, one drink for each, free in the house, okay? So that is a lot of money for the company. Let's see, the next one. What's the increase of income? Me preguntó el domingo, o sea, yo le dije que, que, este, que estaba ocupado. Yes, sir. <laughs> what, what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? How much money came into the company after the installation of the monitoring software? Two thousand nine hundred and eighty-two, right? Two thousand nine hundred and eighty-two. Okay. Let's say dollars a week. week. A week. What was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? What happened? Did they continue with uh, an ethical? They pulled back, right? They pulled back and they changed their strategy into what? Have that soft, that uh, dessert or have a second beer, right? Okay, excellent. Let's continue, let's, let's continue. Okay, these are some of the workplace security aspects okay, in the workplace. It says the most common workplace security aspects include following points. A robust, a robust physical access policy to follow strictly should be in place. Okay, what's the meaning? A, a solid policy, a solid policy of security should be installed. Number two, digital access should be under powerful data control procedure. Okay, security methods. A professional grade surveillance system to track physical activity in movement, installation of cameras, good cameras with good resolution, color cameras, not black and white and not far away and with monitors, not just fake cameras, real cameras, okay? Or regular monitoring of digital access, data transportation means a software that may track information that goes out and the information that comes in to keep a record. Number five, emergency support and disaster recovery mechanism. What's the meaning? Insurance, insurance, right? They have to have emergency support and insurance. Number six, Best workplace security supportive infrastructures such as lights, guards, fire extinguishers, security, good illumination, 
a good number of guards, security guards, and fire extinguishers in order to strengthen security, okay? So that is the idea. This is for the workplace security. Now let's do, the, let's do this. This is for you to do in the groups, but you have 15 and 16, 17, okay? You're going to be doing 15, 16, and 17. But first, I'm going to explain some vocabulary. Please, please, means a, a type of corruption, right? When you say, this is talk, talk about politicians who are corrupt, sleaze, they are accused of sleaze. Market rigging, market rigging is that uh, you are blocking other people. This is like mon monopolizing, monopolizing the market, market rigging. There is a monopoly, uh, monopoly. not in, but there's a monopoly, right? This would be similar to corruption. Okay, price fixing. Price fixing is that, uh, imagine that there are, in our country, there are six companies that sell gasoline. And uh, the six companies, the representatives get together and they decide, hey, let's increase the price of gasoline by 15 cents per gallon. And all of them say, okay. And the price is the same in the six different distributors. There are six different people, six different companies, but coincidence, the, the six increase the price of the gasoline in 15 cents. So it does, it does seem like, oh, I'm going to go to a different distributor because he has a better price. No, the same because they get together and they establish establish the price. That is price fixing. I'm going to put here establish for you to have, to have a reference. Establish the price, price fixing. Corruption doesn't need explanation. Insider dealing. What is insider dealing? Okay, people inside the company is uh, stealing the information and sharing it with other companies. So this is insider dealing. Okay, so I want you to read this. I'm going to read it for you and you will decide which of this. Okay, we have sleaze, sleaze, market, market rigging, price fixing, corruption, insider dealing. Two ferries companies, two ferry companies. Teacher, what's a ferry company? It's a company that takes cars from one side to the other side in a lake or river sometimes, yes? They have barges, they have barges, huge barges, and then these barges carry cars across the river. So that is ferry companies. Two ferry companies with ferries on the same route secretly meet in order to decide the prices uh, they will charge next summer. What crime are they gu guilty of? Number two, a company that wants to keep its share price high, makes secret pay payments to investors who buy its shares. Okay, so it means, okay, 
if you buy my shares, I'm going to give you some money. So what are the company and the investors guilty of? Uh, number three, a rich businessman lends one million to a politician so that he can buy a house. The politician pays no interest on the loan and does not mention it when asked to give a complete account or a complete explanation of his finances. Which word, especially about politicians, do people use to talk about this? Or specialists on one department of a financial institution are advising company X on a merger. Teacher, what's a merger? Unification, a unification, right? Two companies become one, merger with another company. In another department of the financial institution, trade hear about this in by large numbers of companies excess shares. What are they guilty of? What should the financial institution do to prevent this? A company selling weapons, each are weapons, <laughs> weapons, guns, grenades, okay, rifles, etc. To a foreign government make secret payments to politicians who make decisions on which companies to buy arms from. What could these payments be called? What's the company and the government guilty of? Okay, so you need to discuss this. Okay, uh, don't worry if you don't find the answer, it's okay, it's, it's fine. So we have, and these ones you need to complete with could, should, or would here. There are only four items, okay? So I'm going to send you to the groups and you discuss with your partners, okay? Let's go there. Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Pages fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Kaden Danis fell asleep. Okay. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Yeah. Okay. Pedrina. Next, what are they guilting, guilting of? Mm -hmm. Number three. Sorry? A rich business? I don't hear you, Danis. Yeah. What do you say? Number three. And no, I just read the, the number one. 
Ah, ok. Ah, where is the wheels? Two ferries companies with the ferries on the same route secretly meet in order to decide the price winter next summer. Where are they guilty of? Guilty of. Guilty of. Um, will team what are they guilty of um, the price fixings yes The case. Right, fix. Mm -hmm. Now, you read the number two. Okay. A company that, yes? Mm -hmm. A company that wants to keep the share price and make sacred payment to invest, investor to buy its share. What is the company in the investor worry of? Worry of? Worry of. Worry of. Worry of. Okay, a company that wants to keep in share price high makes secret payments to investors would buy its shares. What are the company and the investor guilty of? Okay. Um, corruption. Corruption. Um, I think. And killer. What are they guilty guilty of? Guilty. Guilty. Guilty of. guilty of. Teacher, what is guilty? Culpable. Culpable. Mm. Guilty. Culpable. That moment we don't have the first or second um, company query because we don't have the who is the first or second company. Because they 
to decide the meeting them secretly. In I think I I, I don't know what is the the first or the second company in. Don Ignacio, that is in general, meaning one company is doing business with another company. Okay, so one company is the first, the other company is the second. And over here, one company, whatever company is an example. One company is doing business with another company. This company pays the other company or talks the other, to the other company about a merger, means a union a unification of the two companies, okay? But then okay. people inside the, the first company hear about it and they buy a lot, a lot of the shares. Shares are stocks. Shares are, uh, let's say, parts, parts of the company so that they are in, let's say, they are owners of the company too. They are dueños, right? They are owners of the company too. So what crime are they committing? What crime are they guilty of? Sorry, teacher, I, I, I am confused because the that um, question to start say two ferries company is two ferries company. Fair not to... all not all the company at the ferry. It's an, an example. They are talking about two companies. Okay. What they are saying is that two companies meet to make sure that they're going to have the same price next summer, it says, next year, right? Okay, so, in, so my, uh, my request is easy, the guilty will be of the, the summer, the next summer, or the summer because the the ferry companies <laughs> the, the summer the, the the season the season is the guilty the guilty el verano el no, no. the season <laughs> is the la temporada <laughs> es culpable de esto, responsable the los precios. <laughs> the companies are not guilty. They are innocent. They are only using the season, taking advantage of the season. For me, only have a two to see. the first is the season and the second is the companies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The client is free. <laughs> Oh, la demanda, I don't know in Spanish, I don't, meaning demanda. Demand, the demand. demand. Oferta y demanda. Offer and the, mm -hmm. yeah, the number one. Okay. In, Okay. Only if you want to move to the next exercise, to the next page. Page. Uh, the express express opinions using could should or were. Mm -hmm. Or would. Sorry. Sure. You may move to that one. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
And the number one. Two. Two. Uh -huh. In my case, uh, always uh, actual. You should. Sure. Uh -huh. Debería. Yes. Okay, and the second is that I saw some shop lifting. The person was hitting bar of cho chocolate in her jacket pocket. She has taken six cookie bar. bars. Okay. You have told security. I saw some. Mm -hmm. You sure? I can. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. You sure? The next is that you have asked the security guard to check her jacket. Jacket. Okay. Cool. The number one is is cool or sure? Sure. For, for me, sure. Sure. Porque yo, yo debería, no. Two. Two. Deberías haberle dicho al seguro y al de seguridad. Sí. I saw someone chop light, chop lighting. The person was highly banned bars of chocolate in her jacket pocket. She has taken six foot bars. Um, the first it, one is good. Good, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Could have to security. Mm -hmm, because it's the option. They mm. can talk the told the security or no. Yes. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. You will have. Okay. This one is short. Light. Say something. Winning cut and dog. Lady was getting off the bus. She fell down and broke her ankle. Oh no. <laughs> okay. She called it an ambulance. She had to stay with her and come for her. She had to stay with her and waited for the ambulance. Um in the, the third he should. For me, it's um, cool. You could have, you could have saved your work every five minutes. Y save. Usted, de, usted debe salvar su trabajo cada cinco minutos. 
Say the, say the, you, you, you should, you should have saving your work every five minutes. Debería. You should. should. Uh, the, the, the verb is in the past tense, you know, save it. Save it is sal save it, salvar, el pasado de salvar, you know. Save it. Uh, pero, what have? Si es pasado, if, if the, the past tense, we need to use. And stay with her. You will. I will. Um, I will have to stay with her and waiting for the ambulance. Ambulance. Mm -hmm. I saw a driver hit a young man. This car. The driver ran away. Y un conductor atropelló a un joven con su auto. El conductor se escapó. You sure how can call the police? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Sure. In the next, you llamaron a una ambulancia y se quedaron con el bull. I confuse the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine so much. So <laughs> the moment we're going to the main group and we'll have the answers. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hay que hallarle la, la lógica para el uso de ella. ¿verdad? O la red. Postes. Carol. Ay, no. No. Okay, my friends, in the first one about the two fairies, what are they guilty of?
Mm -hmm. What did you decide on? The fair is price fixing. Correct, price fixing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. In the second, what do you think is the um, market right market right. market rigging rigging market rigging? Okay. What about number three? What do you have in number three? Corruption. Yes, we call it sleaze or corruption. Mm -hmm. we put here corruption. Corruption or rigging. So corruption or sleaze. Okay, what about number four? Inside dealing. Insider dealing, right? Insider dealing. Okie dokie. And the last one? Yes. As least as lazy. Uh -huh. Sleaze, corruption. Okay, excellent, very good. Now let's continue. We have in number one, what did you write? I was working and lights went out. All of my work was lost. Number one. <clears throat> I think you should, you should. Yeah, okay. Let's use should, right? Okay. You should have saved your work every five minutes. And number two? You should have, you should have connected your computer to your UPS. Okay. It's possible too. Mm -hmm. So here you may use should, could, would, should. And what about the last one? The last one is only one option. What is the option? Exactly. I would have set up MS Word to save the file automatically. So this is Word. The last one is Word. So let's put Word. This is what I would have done. Look, yo habría hecho what I would have done. And over here, what do you have in number one? I saw someone shoplifting. The person was hiding bars of chocolate in her jacket pockets. She had taken six huge bars. Teacher, huge, enormous. Huge means, huge means enormous, big bars. Okay, what do you see? in the first one. Should? You should have, right? Mm -hmm. You should have told security. And in the next one? Oh. Could. Uh -huh. You could have asked the security guard to check her jacket, okay? I would have kept quiet because it is very dangerous to say something. I would have kept quiet. Okay, number three, a lady was getting off the bus. She fell down and broke her ankle. You? You should. You should. Mm -hmm. You should have called an ambulance. And the second? You could. You could have, or even should have too. So you could have stayed with her and comfort her. And the last one? What? Uh -huh. I would have stayed with her 
and waited for the ambulance. So the last one is always wood. And water. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? I saw a driver hit a young man with his car. The driver or drove away. He hit and run. So the first one. Should. Should. Right. You should have called the police. You should have called the police. And the next one. You could. You could. Who will? You could have called the ambulance and stayed with the man. Excellent. Very good. All right. We're going to do this one quickly. With this, with surveillance. What is surveillance? Okay. Let us see. We're going to write the numbers here in the blanks. The way someone acts. What number is the way someone acts? Behavior. Behavior. Okay. The action or crime of stealing. Death. Yeah, number four, theft, 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 theft. Okay, the amount of money paid to an employee. Wage. Wage. Something that causes fear or nervousness is? Okay. Spooky, seven. To remove someone's doubts and fears. Number two. two. The act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Is number one. Here I put one, but it's three. <laughs> Sorry, here is three. Okay. And here is one. Okay. The last one to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided that service. Number six. Excellent. All right. With this, we finish. Let's uh, let's call roll. Okay. Amadri Carranza de Guzman. Present, teacher. Excellent. Brian Odi Perez Araujo. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Dani Alberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Yeah. Jorge Saraí Molina. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Jacqueline Melissa Delgadillo Paniagua. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. I am here. Nice. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Nice. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Miriam. Okay. 
I think I saw her, but I'm not sure. So they will detect her. Moises Eduardo Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Pedrina Ileana Gomez. Present teacher. Nice. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Okay. Claudia Lorena Enriquez. Marvin Alexander López. Rudy Josué Flores. Present. Excellent. And Victor Hugo Quintanilla. Okay. Excellent. Let me see. Tonight, uh, tonight is the 29th. Brian Odir Perez will stay with me tonight. Okay. Brian Odir Perez. Now, the other people, ladies and gentlemen, do the homework. Please do the homework. If you have any homework from the week, please do it. Finish it. Okay. Tomorrow, before 8 a.m., I will be adding your grades to the, to the list. So please, okay, imagine in the class you participate beautifully and you work hard and nice, but in the platform, nothing. You, so no, work hard. Work hard in the platform and you will have a good grade, okay? Please, okay? Bye bye. Good night. I'll see you, Good night. See you on Monday. Okay. Good night. 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 See you on Monday. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Okay.